Have you run over a pothole lately? Who hasn't? But what if we could fill these road wreckers with something that actually helps in the battle to slow climate change? Diana Olick has details in her continuing series on climate startups. Diana? Well, Kelly, potholes are usually filled with asphalt, right? That smelly, tarry material made of some type of gravel and a petroleum-based substance that binds it all together. Now, one startup is helping to make a cleaner, petroleum-free asphalt, which starts, interestingly enough, with natural gas. Natural gas is a cleaner fuel than oil, but it still emits harmful carbon dioxide when burned. Natural gas is made of carbon and hydrogen. Now, companies like Monolith and Seattle-based startup Modern Hydrogen are using new technologies to create a cleaner hydrogen, which is also resulting in another useful byproduct. Modern Hydrogen produces clean hydrogen without needing renewable power. We do this by splitting natural gas into hydrogen and solid carbon. Clients put the modern hydrogen system where they would normally use their natural gas. But the system first separates the gas into solid carbon and clean hydrogen. The client then uses that emission-free hydrogen fuel, and a portion of it is also used to power the system. As for that leftover carbon, modern hydrogen actually has a second business. It sells it to asphalt makers. Using carbon instead of the usual petroleum makes the asphalt stronger, cheaper, and greener. There's this $100 billion per year market uh, that wants to buy the solid carbon and puts it into asphalt. And that just helps the whole economics of this decarbonization play. This is also one of the cheaper ways for modern hydrogen's industrial clients who are pressured by investors and regulators to decarbonize. A decarbonization isn't free. So we're always looking for the least cost, least risk way of doing that. This technology is probably a medium uh, expense uh, to low expense. And that's what we're trying to figure out with the technology. Modern Hydrogen is backed by Gates Frontier, At One Ventures, National Grid Partners, Mura Group, and Iron Gray. Total funding so far, $100 million. Modern Hydrogen now has systems in the U.S. and Canada, and its asphalt is filling potholes in six states as well as Canada. Pan says he's looking to expand next into Japan and eventually go global. Back to you guys. How does it compare in price with conventional um, asphalt, number one? And number two, if I'm understanding it correctly, what, has happened, what happens here in this process is that solid carbon... Uh, precipitates out of the process and is collected in some kind of bin or trough or whatever. Exactly. And then what modern hydrogen does is it takes that solid carbon and it sells it to asphalt makers. And so it creates a much cleaner asphalt. Now they're testing it. They've tested it so far in the Pacific Northwest and in Texas, but they want to take it to colder weather areas to see if it works there as well. So they're actually bringing it to you in New York and New Jersey. They're testing it on Long Island, which I don't know if you knew this, but New York uses about 19 million ton, uh, tons per year of asphalt. And as for whether it's cheaper or not, you know, the company says that what the upfront cost of putting the entire system at a place where there's natural gas is high, but because the system's work over time decarbonizes at a much cheaper rate than other technologies, it will offset that higher cost over time. Well, 19 million tons of asphalt has not gone into the Cross Bronx Expressway just yet, <laughs> let me say that. Diana Olick, thank you very much. Appreciate it.